Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy, the Handmade Homeschooler, and today we're gonna to be talking about homeschool discounts. I feel like we all really need this right now. I know I sure do, <laughs> but I have had a couple different places give me a discount lately that I wanted to discuss, and I have a mega thread in my homeschool group, which is also linked down below if you want to join that. I have a mega thread in there on homeschooling discounts where a lot of the group members said that they have been able to get a homeschool discount at this store. So a couple of disclaimers first. I have not personally tried a lot of these places. I do not know what they require. So if I say one that you wanna get a discount at, you need to look it up and try to go figure out what they want. As far as a discount, I personally do not know. I don't have the list of what every store requires or anything like that, but I'm just letting you know that this is what the other homeschool parents have said, so you might wanna look into it. <laughs> now, the couple ones that I have tried, I'm gonna go over those and let you know where I have been able to get a discount this year. Before I jump into the video, I wanna remind you that I have a free curriculum link down below for IEW. If you need language arts curriculum and you're not sure which one to use, I have links to free trials of a whole bunch of stuff from IEW and that's free to you to use. You just have to download it and go. Okay, so let's check out a couple of these. There are so many in here. I might not be able to get all of them, but I will get the big ones. So first, a couple of the ones that I have been able to use this year. Thrift Books. I applied for the thriftbooks.com teacher discount. Now, a lot of times different stores will have a teacher discount, but they don't say whether or not homeschool parents are involved in that. So a lot of times you just have to ask. So if it doesn't say if homeschooling parents are, are included in that, just ask the company, shoot them an email, go into the store and ask them, or just call the phone number and ask if you can get that discount as well, if you show proof or an ID. And a lot of times what you need to, to be able to identify yourself is just like your official homeschooling document, either from your state or you can apply at HSLDA for a teacher license or like a little teacher ID card. I think it's like $10 or something with a picture on it. Or you can use, I used my actual just non-picture ID from HSLDA and that's worked a lot of times with a lot of different places and that's been plenty good enough to get me the discount wherever I needed it. So just to give you guys some idea of where to find you know some kind of documentation if you don't get documentation from your state i get documentation from my state and i am enrolled in hslda so i have that and i have um paperwork from our cover school too so i have different ways that i can prove my identity as a homeschooling teacher this one wasn't mentioned but i got a homeschooling discount over at the ark and creation museum the Ark of the Creation Museum is over in Kentucky and we absolutely had a blast over there. If you are in the area, definitely check out the Ark and the Creation Museum. They also have a military discount and I can't remember which one was more of a discount, the homeschooling or the military, but because we're a military family, um, we always you know, have our military IDs and things like that on us. So, Look and see if you're military, which one is more, and then just obviously take the bigger discount. But just so you know, there is a military discount there and there is a homeschool discount there too. So I'm hoping we get to go back soon. It's always nice to get that, that little percentage off. Now that was several years ago. That was, oh my goodness, that was like five or six years ago. So if they don't have it anymore, let me know down in the comments. Um, I would appreciate that update because, you know, we do want to go back sometime soon. So let me know, do they still have it? I want to say they probably do, but you know, I know businesses have changed radically over the last couple of years with everything and with all, all their expenses. So let me know if there's some kind of update on that. So thrift books was the first place that I actually had to upload these documents. And I was, I was accepted within like five or 10 minutes of uploading the documents. That one was super easy peasy. Now I think that one is like a buy four, get one free. And I use thrift books 
a lot. So not only do I get the free book after I buy so many because it, it's like a point system, but I will also now get a buy four, get one free, I think. I think that's the deal. If I if I misspeak, I apologize on that. But yeah, you, you buy so many and you get one free and that's going to be a huge help, especially because I like to buy different things for you know, just reading purposes. Sometimes I buy cookbooks. I buy all kinds of things in there, but 90% of what I buy is all homeschool related for the kids. I think also Second and Charles, if you have one of those, which is a used bookstore within some states, I'm not sure where Second and Charles is. I'm not sure if it's a Northern or a Southern thing because I'm technically in the South, but we have a lot of Northern stores here, so I'm not sure. But we have a couple Second and Charles around my area. And if you show documentation at checkout, I do believe there is a, a, a teacher discount. Now that was several years ago, so I don't know if they still have that, but just keep that in mind if you go to one regularly. So my group members are saying that Michael's and Joann's, you can get a homeschool discount, which I did not know that. I, I think I knew that Michael's did one, but I typically don't shop at Michael's. I typically shop at Hobby Lobby, so I don't know, I just, I, I like Hobby Lobby better, <laughs> but I know a lot of people don't have a Hobby Lobby or they only have a Michaels or whatever, so a lot of people shop at Michaels for different things, but I know at Michaels you can get a discount. Over at Joann's though, I've never used a, a Joann's discount. However, I don't have a Joann's here, so I've never been able to try it. If you've done Joann's, let me know. I did not know that there was a discount at Joann's. Also Barnes and Noble, a lot of people are saying Barnes and Noble you can get a discount at too. Again, I don't know what the discount is. I was just at a Barnes and Noble and did not get a discount, but I didn't ask either. So somebody let me know, can you get one over at Barnes and Noble? I know they're a little bit more expensive, so I typically don't shop at Barnes and Noble for that. I always try to shop at the used bookstores first or something like Books a Million because it's going to be cheaper than Barnes and Noble, but let me know. I would love to know. So in the comments, I have group members saying that over at Barnes and Noble, you have to show some kind of teacher ID. And if you show a teacher ID, like your homeschool, your HSLDA homeschool ID, you can get a discount. Another books, half price books. So check that one. I think they also have an online store too. I shopped at one of those when I was up north visiting and I got so many good books to kick off our first homeschooling year. It was great. I came home with a trunk full of books that year from Half Price Books. So if you have one, I'm so jealous of you. So software, Adobe Creative Cloud, which is interesting. It's $20 a month for homeschoolers. I did not know this. I did not know you could get Creative Cloud for that. But if you're like into graphics like I am, or if you have a kid that's into making graphics, that's a good one. Another one that I personally use is Canva, C-A-N-V-A. I will link that down below. Over at Canva, you can get a, you can get a free account. Anybody can get a free account, but you can get a pro account if you're a teacher. Now I've had a little bit of trouble trying to get that pro account. It, but that's just, that's just me. I don't know if they just don't like my documentation or what, but you can get a pro account for free and you can make all kinds of things there. You can make worksheets, you can make graphics, you can make all kinds of things for your classroom over there. There's tons of things you can do graphic wise and paperwork wise. You can make anything from PDFs to images, to logos, to whatever the heck you want. And I use that program every single day on my computer and it's also an app too. So another one that I have actually taken advantage of is the aquarium. So our state aquariums over here in North Carolina have a free admission day for homeschoolers. You do have to take your documentation. So I take our state like paperwork that we get from the state after we um, open our homeschool here and we actually get our kids in for free that day, which is really neat. So once a year we can go and they have like a, a day for like a, like a homeschool day there at our personal one. I don't know if they do that at everyone, but in North Carolina, we use the Pine Knoll Shores. It's quite a drive, but it is a really, really good aquarium. If you have kids and they like fish, that's a great aquarium to go to. 
So a group member says the Titanic Museum over in Branson. I am so jealous, you guys. The Titanic Museum when I was in Branson was closed for renovations and I was so sad. We were stationed not too far from Branson. We were stationed about an hour away from Springfield over in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri when my husband was an instructor for the Marine Corps. And we were stationed on an army base there in Fort Leonard Wood. And we would drive to Branson sometimes, but while we were stationed there, the Titanic Museum, I don't know what happened, but they were, it was under renovation. So we went to like the Ripley's Museum and stuff across the street, but there's all kinds of really cool things. If you are within drivable distance of Branson, highly recommend, but it looks like there's a discount over at the Titanic Museum. So if you can get there, go there, especially if you're using the Campfire Curriculum Titanic unit, that would be a great field trip. Okay, another one that I've taken advantage of before. So if you have a fourth grade student, you can get into any national park for free. And you can go to the nationalparks.org website to find out more about that. But if you have a fourth grader, I don't know why it's fourth grade, but if you have a fourth grader, you can actually get into the into the park for free. So, and anyone with them gets in for free, according to my group members. So check out the Every Kid Outdoors program on the National Parks website. And just an FYI on that, I'm reading the comments here. A lot of them are saying that every year it changes what grade it is. So <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, so they said to make sure that you check on the website to see what grade it is for the current year. I think this one might be the coolest one. So my group member says all of the stores at Magnolia Silos in Waco. I am so jealous of everyone who's been able to go to Magnolia. <laughs> but apparently Chip and Joanna Gaines will give you a discount at, at all the uh, at, at the Magnolia stores. So. Just an FYI, if you get to go there, I'm so jealous. But I'm just saying, if you get to go, you get a discount on stuff. So that's really neat. Another one is Target. Target has a percentage off coupon in July. So it's already passed, I apologize. But if you register ahead of time through the Target Circle site as a homeschool teacher, you can get the discount over at Target. Some of our staple items have come from Target, like the buckets that I have on our desks that hold like our workbooks and things like that. I got those at Target at like their dollar spot or something just like years ago and they've, they've held up for a long, long time. Remember to check any place that has a teacher discount. If a place is education related, like a museum or an aquarium or something like that, even if it's like a Ripley's or something like that, and they still fall into that like museum education learning type of environment, ask if they have a teacher discount. And if they do, tell them you're a homeschool teacher and a lot of times you will get the admission at a percentage off as long as you have your ID, which is another reason why I really like to sign up for the HSLDA membership. It's only 10 bucks to do that. And you get a new ID every single year with the current school year on it. And it is not only legal protection, but it also helps solidify your identity as a educator and you will get discounts in different places like that. So it doesn't hurt to ask. And I mean, if they don't have a teacher discount, you know, it's not a big deal, but you might be able to get a little bit of your admission fees, you know, either wavered or off, a percentage off if you just ask. Okay, so that is most of our thread there, at least the big ones that I could find. Hopefully it gives you guys some good ideas to go ahead and um, get some good discounts either on some books or some admission or something cool in your area. So let me know down in the comments, where have you been able to get a teacher discount for being a homeschooling educator? Let me know and I will try to add it to this mega thread because I think that we all need some discounts right now. Everything is so stinking expensive and we've really had to cut back on field trips because of expenses because it's so expensive to drive and things like that. I hope that this was a helpful video for you and that you were taking notes on different things to, to try out or to go to as a field trip or to get some new supplies or some new books. So 
Let me know where's your favorite place to get a discount. We all need some discounts right now. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and happy homeschooling.